when you have a portion of the population that doesn't believe in that. It holds everybody back, really. Evolution is the fundamental idea in all of life science, in all of biology. It's like, it's very much analogous to trying to do geology without believing in tectonic plates. You're just not going to get the right answer. Your whole world is just going to be a mystery instead of an exciting place. As my old professor Carl Sagan said, when you're in love, you want to tell the world. So once in a while, I get people that really, that, or that claim they don't believe in evolution. And my response generally is, well, why not? Really, why not? Your world just becomes fantastically complicated when you don't believe in evolution. I mean, you, here are these ancient dinosaur bones or fossils. Here is... Um, radioactivity. Here are distant stars that are just like the, our star, but that are a different point in their life cycle. The idea of deep time of this of billions of years uh, explains so much of the world around us. If you try to ignore that, your, your worldview just becomes crazy. It's just uh, untenable, self-inconsistent. And I say to the grown-ups, if you want to deny evolution and live in your, in your uh, world that's completely inconsistent with everything we observe in the universe, that's fine. But don't make your kids do it, because we need them. We need scientifically literate voters and taxpayers for the future. We need people that can, uh, we need engineers that can build stuff, solve problems. These, it's just really hard thing. It's, it's really a hard thing. You know, in another couple centuries, that, that worldview, I'm sure, will be, it just won't exist. I mean, it's, it's there's no evidence for it. So.